Hello, hi, this is Ryan Ahmed with you, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to create a bootable USB disk for the uh, HP Service Pack 4 ProLiant uh, ISO image. Okay, now we're going to show you how to get it. And now, this software or uh, this piece of software is used only on HP servers, no, uh, nothing else. Okay, and they have to be ProLiant servers. Okay, ProLiant series of HP servers. Now, uh, to get that software, we have to go to hpe.com. Now, HP uh, is now two uh, branches. They made two websites now. Uh, there's the hp.com and there's now also the hpe.com. Why? Because to make it easier for their enterprise customers, the people who are uh, hardcore IT people, okay, they made them their own uh, website because it it is really not everybody understands the uh, I mean the hard stuff in IT okay it's just for people who are specialized and it needs its own people to deal with it so it will be better like that because I really tried it when they were a little bit on the shift between uh, HP and HPE and the split okay it was really 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 tiresome okay uh, you will deal with people who are almost ignorant in computers okay yeah that has nothing to do with HP and because it's not uh, their problem okay it's that what they hire okay that people just uh, are not dedicated for the case now uh, so we go to hpe.com okay and uh, we uh, get this page and uh, we click this login page it will take us to this page here okay now from this you will see something like customers and partners now customers is by default the highlighted one here okay see you will have to click the partners so don't get confused by that okay yeah. especially when I'm foreigner not a native it's just like confuses people yeah. so um, you click the uh, software uh, depot okay link which is the same it will uh, go to this page okay now this is where we should get the service pack for ProLiant but before that okay I really urge you and really like uh, hold your hand firmly okay uh, please register for an HP passport account okay it's, it's a it's the account that will you you will use to download all the stuff that you need uh, from the website okay so <clears throat> like many forums there are you know accounts you should do okay so uh, it will give you this page okay just to get uh, HP pass, uh, passport okay passport password just like confusing <laughs> so um, so after uh, clicking this uh, uh, link here okay it will take us to this one okay now you select the version that you like here okay? this is the whole page just for you to understand okay, so click the version that you want okay now it will uh, take you to this page see this here the highlighted one here it's a link okay so we click it it will take us to this page here this one okay this one okay. see it mentions service pack for ProLiant and and the bottom okay talks about uh, the revision history and enhancement and such and such okay so uh, if you are not logged in yet okay you will have this icon of a key lock okay now to get the software okay you will have to click the obtain button and it will ask you to uh, enter your HP passport credentials okay now uh, 
if it is okay, you logged in, okay? It will take you to this page, see? Now, all you have to do is just click select all this rubbish <laughs> to me. So just click select and go to the bottom and please make sure that your information is correct here and uh, click yes I have read and accept the software licenses please read it it's important because you're an enterprise you're not any people okay and uh, click uh, next okay if you're not signed in it will also again uh, ask you for a signature on the uh, passport and you will get this page later okay so you will click this one would be like this okay will be like this when you open it okay so you open it and it will be standard download okay and uh, you click this one here to get the whole ISO file obviously okay and you must also download this md5 sum file it's important so you can match the md5 sum number okay here's the file and please make sure before we start creating the usb okay, it's very very important that you have the md5 sum command existing the parted command existing which is part of its package parted and the syslinux package and also add the sys uh, linux let's see just a minute the package list sys linux we want all the sys linux packages okay so also install the uh, common Okay, and the sysling uh, Linux utils. Okay, forget about dev, it's not that important to us. We're not gonna build anything. Okay, so after that, as long as we downloaded the uh, MD5 file, okay, so and the ISO file, when we are done, like after a number of hours, okay, or according to you, whatever speed you they have uh, in the download. Uh, you type md5 sum okay and your hp uh, the hp file which one here this one okay, i'm gonna copy it just very click here and press enter it will take long okay so once you press enter You must get a number, okay? That's found inside the file the that ends with the MD5 sum. This one that you have downloaded from this link here, okay? This one, okay? So when I just dump its output using the cat command okay you will get this number you have to match it with the md5 sum result of this command okay if they are equal perfectly equal there is no missing or no uh, differences in any of the digits of this number then you're fine okay you can move on otherwise you will have to re to re-download the file okay there should not be any missing bit okay or there should not be any uh, change in that number okay even if it's by a one digit like a five to six okay there's one now uh, from there i have made this uh, script okay uh, which you should use it as such okay let's say uh, the file that I've made uh, is here on this name so I'm giving it, giving it an executable and I will distribute this file with the 
it's a script it's a shell script with the um, video okay, so this one okay so I'll do like this HP SPP SS SH okay and I will say now here slash dev SD now what's your USB disk now if I press double tab it will uh, give you of course your first drive the SDA now the other drives how would you know it's the USB you just uh, pull out the fl uh, flash disk and I press double tab again see my flash disk was gone now I must take the the new name not any other name a new name and stick to it until I finish so I uh, wait a little bit press press double tab okay see it's an SDC okay now make sure it's not mounted okay and you do it as root you don't do it as any other uh, account okay uh, and SDC only you don't use SDC one okay and here's the HP file okay the big uh, service pack ISO file and I press enter now remember this will delete your flash disk completely it will wipe it out okay if anything happens it's not my responsibility it's yours okay remember 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 Okay, select the correct slash div okay this one select the correct one please do not select any other disk please 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 okay now um, after that okay uh, we will have to go to our USB disk okay so CD slash uh, media USB 0 because this is where I'm mounting the uh, flash disk you can edit the disk uh, the script and make it mount to anywhere you want okay and um, yes now we have to edit this one Let me mount it first. Okay, so we have all those files after we finish. Okay, you should have this list of files. Okay, now VI or pico or whichever uh, editor you like to use okay here i have iso uh, linux.cfg okay you might have also instead of iso linux.cfg uh, syslinux.cfg either would work okay i don't know which one should uh, the bootloader read okay but uh, in just in case see what uh, which one will uh, boot it okay now so I'm going to use this one because it's already there and you see there's this line says default okay this one all you have to do is just put a comment sign the hashtag like this and track and save it okay now to boot it you see something like SOS or Vsauce okay either are uh, two methods of, of uh, applying the uh, firmware up, uh, upgrade now the source is automatic the Vsauce is interactive now the good thing about the interactive uh, method is that if you have updated your uh, firmware okay uh, the like you can make your own custom uh, uh, 
uh, SPP uh, bootable disk. Okay, so to make your uh, um, custom uh, bootable disk, okay, after you finish, let's imagine here, okay, it's mounted, you know, so you go to this folder HP and then you go to software packages and then this is what I have been taught from the HP guys um, that you have to for example get the firmware of your RAID card so you put it like inside this uh, folder okay just for example for me it is The, uh, this one okay this is what they gave me and then uh, I put it back inside the uh, HP folder software packages and uh, here and then uh, when you boot you boot to uh, uh, the interactive mode and you don't do anything but uh, installing uh, this firmware okay uh, and uh, this way you can keep your firmware on the older uh, version it could be uh, better and much more stable than the newer one okay it depends depends on your case but this way I'm going I'm just showing you how to make a, a, custom, a customized uh, SPP okay and this is all about making your uh, SPP now uh, SPP if you moved uh, or booted into the uh, interactive mode, you should see this way. This, uh, I mean, not this way, sorry. This uh, screen, okay? So to start with a firmware update, then etc. okay? So I go with the form firmware update and you go on, okay? Finish the finish your work and reboot and cross your fingers that your uh, server will boot <laughs> okay have fun bye bye uh, click the links tell your friends about this video don't forget to tell your friends about this video it's very important and uh, also uh, click the ads type some comments for me and uh, subscribe to my channel tell your people about this uh, channel bye